I'm Ken Anderson with IDI Distributors. Today we're talking about the Fusion Air Perch Gun. On the Fusion Air Perch Gun, it has two check valves in the bottom. And what these check valves do is they ensure if you have a crossover inside the gun, that that material doesn't go back into your coupling block and down into the hose where it can get really expensive. But in order for these check valves to work properly, they have to be clean. It's basically a spring-loaded ball inside this little piece. If that little ball that's in there has a little bit of dirt on it, it can't seat properly and won't give you any protection against that crossover. However, on the A side, it's not uncommon to not be able to get that screw out because the isocyanate acts just like a glue. So I'm going to show you a tip on how to get that screw out of there without doing any damage. Okay. A lot of times that screw is locked in tight because of that isocyanate. You won't be able to unthread it. What we're going to do is take this outside where we have good ventilation. We'll hold this piece gently in a vise right down here. Put a screwdriver into the top and we're going to heat this with a small plumber's torch just enough to break the bond of the ISO. As soon as that breaks that bond, that's going to spin right out, no problem. Clean the ball up, put it back together, back in business. Let's go outside and take a look. Okay, now we're outside, we want to have good ventilation, that's why we're doing it outside. Uh, I got my bench vise, I'm holding my check valve very gently in that, in that vise. Next thing I'm going to do is take the screen off, won't need to have that in the way. And we're going to heat with a plumber's torch this top little eighth inch of the check valve. We won't, don't want to heat the whole thing, but we only want to heat it enough to get it apart. So I'm going to put my screwdriver in the slot and start heating it. As soon as it's warm enough, that'll just break right free. Let's take a look. We're going to let the parts cool. Once they're cool, we'll take them back in the shop, home part, clean up the ball real well, put everything back together, and it's going to work just fine. Okay, our parts have cooled down, so we can take them out of the vise. Here's the screw, the spring, and the check ball. And I can see the little pieces of dirt on that check ball. That's enough to make this not work properly. It'll fail. So we got to get that cleaned up. Make sure the hole inside is cleaned up. Put them back together. We screw that screw down. Just want to make sure it's flush. Put the screens back on. If you're using the screens, put it back in the gun and you're back in business. This is going to keep your gun working properly so you don't get that uh, chemical back into the hose when you have a crossover. I'm Ken Anderson, IDI Distributors. Thanks for watching.